Happy New Year everyone! I'm Aisha and you are joining me for some more heavy petting. Throughout the year 2010, we have travelled across the length and the breadth of the country in our search for animals and animal lovers. And today, it has brought us to a very curious stop. On the show today, we're making a leap of faith from the wild to the virtual. There's a group of artists and animal lovers who are on the prowl, dedicating their work to the conservation of animal life and are travelling from city to city with it. We're going to meet them in just a bit, but first, a look at what's lined up on the show today. State of the art. Starting a family. Rising stars. Ask the doctor. And heads up for winter. When foreigners visit India, they're usually surprised to see cows on the streets, horses at weddings or elephants on highways. But in fact, we as Indians have always accepted animals as an integrated part of our culture and lifestyle. Even in Indian mythology, there are numerous instances of venerating animals. Today I'm going to meet an artist who has taken this part of our culture and channeled it into an art and is now using that art to help conserve animal wildlife. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a great thing that you're doing. And I have to admit, it's a first for us in heavy petting. We've come across many people who are, you know, doing their bit to conserve the environment, to help animals in many ways. But you're the first graphic artist to be featured. Thank you, thank you. It's an honor. So tell me, how did this idea start? It's quite simple, really. We were just uh, working to see how we can bridge the gap between um, our past, our mythological past, and uh, between what we think is our future, which is a little bit more global. We were one of the communities in the world that worships animals as, sure. as gods, sure. Hanuman, Ganesh. So, you know, what is an interesting uh, thing, I think, globally, is that all our gods any god worth his salt actually has a vehicle. You know, this is not the, we're not talking about what kind of, you know, BMWs and Jaguars, but we're really talking about animals as vehicles, vahanas as they're called, vahan. So, um, so we kind of like tried to earmark 12 gods and 12 vahans. Obviously, we didn't want to get into the god aspect of it, but we did want to get into which the animals are. And we've chosen our animals very simply on like a simple basis what is their level of extinction today? Mm -hmm. Are they vulnerable? Are they abused? You had a team of international artists That's working right, on yeah, this exhibition. Yeah. So, so which I, countries have participated? I wrote to this wonderful guy in the US, Josh Brill. He's, he's a really big and wonderful uh, illustrator. Mm -hmm. So he's one of them. We've got two boys from Argentina. Independently, I had no idea that they even knew each other. Then there's this lady from Sweden who works in a 50s style. So it's a lot like a like childlike approach to design in the 50s, a woodblock print kind of like simplicity. Um, and we were like, you know, we have to have Indian representation. So there's a wonderful guy in Bombay, Lokesh. How do you see graphic design really helping active conservation? Where does that link get bridged? Well, 10% um, of everything goes to this company in Delhi called Wildlife SOS. They've done brilliant work with sloth bears, getting them off the streets, with leopards and with elephants. So graphic design or you know the moment you go into any kind of modern description of art, it immediately puts it you know, in a separate zone. Right. How do people connect? How do the animals connect to the people through right. this art? That's the key problem, so to speak, that we had. That we've got animals, they're sitting in you know, jungles, they're facing extinction. You read about you know, their plight and you, it, as human beings you don't like it, but they're not part of your everyday life. And so really what we want to do by doing this exhibition is bring animals back into your life, bring in the affinity and build an emotional connect with, with them. That's a great way to go about it. And since the paintings are so beautiful and each one of them is symbolic as well yes, of absolutely. the animal in Indian mythology. Absolutely. 